I came here in 72 as an adjunct faculty member. Actually, I answered an ad thinking I was coming here to work 12 clock hours a week. Little did I know that I was really applying for a full-time job here. Um, so when I did come here, there were only about three programs at that time in the Allied Health Division. I taught in Allied Health, and the, the nursing division was a division all of its own. I don't know if people realize that. It was quite a political fiasco trying to get nursing to come into Allied Health. But the campus was a lot smaller, obviously. We had about five buildings, a lot of trailers, but it was booming. I mean, there were a lot of students on campus. And uh, then uh, in a few years later than that, actually, after Vietnam, we started to get a lot of veterans that were taking advantage of the GI Bill and coming back, you know, to get an education after fighting in Vietnam. Uh, back then, though, in the 70s, I think the morale was very high. People were, they, they worked hard, but they played hard together. And there were a lot of celebrations on and off campus. And so we not only worked together, but we actually socialized a lot together, more than I see that today. But it didn't seem like there was a lot of contention between faculty and administration back then. They all partied together, and they all seemed to get along real well. I mean, it was it was typical of faculty thinking that the administrators really were somewhat meaningless and bureaucratic and um, out of touch with the mission of instruction, and then administrators thinking faculty were narrowly focused and self-serving and all that. But, you know, it was just these conflicting needs, and um, but it didn't ever seem to interfere with their ability to really get along and get things done. Um, it was a lot more collaborative. Jim Wanty was the president in the 70s, and, um, and he was a distinguished Englishman. Um, then after Dr. Wanty left, uh, John Ravix was president. And Don Slowinski was dean of students, and Don uh, hired was who, the one that hired me into the admissions area in the first place. And Don loved to tell stories. He was very witty and very eloquent in his speaking. And um, he he was the uh, game show host. We created a game show called Data Race, and Don was the host and moderator of that show and the admissions office produced it and so we had to uh, work on getting the questions 24 high schools were involved and uh, they won a first place tournament trophy and then three full tuition scholarships to Essex um, and the high schools really embraced it it was sort of like it's academic and uh, so anyway we had a lot of fun during that time and then when Don moved into the presidency, he told me, well, he asked me, but if anybody knew Don Slowinski, that was his way of telling you that um, you were going to do something. And so he said, I think you'd be good on camera. And I said, oh, no, Don, I'm really a behind-the-scenes kind of person. And he said, uh, oh, no, I think you'd be real good on camera. So he roped me into doing that uh, host and moderator role for about four years.